Welcome back. It's the latest episode of Fine Wine and Good Times. I am your host, best-selling author Tracy Brown. And as usual, I am joined by my co-host, Tamika. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Yes. And Shy. Hey, people. Yes. We got a new guest who stepped in the room. <laughs> Hello. You saw her on our last episode. Her name is Maya the Poet. She is here joining us tonight. Maya, welcome, welcome. to the show. For having oh me. Oh my let's, god. Let's sip some tea and do what we do. Yes, we're yes. gonna sip some wine even better than that. <laughs> Maya made such an impression on our guests, on our on our viewers from the last episode that we had to bring her back. So don't be surprised if you continue to see her face at the table from time to time when we're discussing topics such as tonight. But before yes. we get into all of that, what y'all sipping on? Shy, what you got? Well, Miss. I'm sorry, you told me not to call you Miss Brown anymore. Don't call me that, because I feel a little aged. I'm sorry. Okay. Tracy, girl. Yeah, that's me. We got the <laughs> wine of the week, people. This is a new segment we're doing yes. on the fine wine and good times. Yes. We got the wine of the week, which you have seen before. My favorite. Yes. We getting blasted. Okay. Barefoot, uh, blueberry, Moscato. Yes. Fruit Scato. Get y'all this. It's your wineries, your dispensaries, your meaderies, your liquor storeries. <laughs> All the Ori's. Okay. Okay. A That's the wine Ori. of the week. So the viewers are going to go get their wine of the week. And sip with us. And tag us in it. And tag us. Make sure you tag us at Fine Wine and Good Times Podcast on Instagram and everywhere else. That's exciting. And let us know you're drinking the wine of the week so we can sip some with you. And let there. us know if you or agree. Guy. If you agree that you yeah. like the wine, give us some feedback. This has to be interactive. If you right. get drunk off the wine, don't drive. Don't. Oh, yes. That's a good one. Yes. Just yes. drive them crazy. Okay. Yeah. Drive them crazy. <laughs> Don't drive them crazy. what you sipping on? Are you on the wine of the week? Well, no, it's, 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 I'm not sipping the wine of the okay. week. Okay, what do you have? I'm having? sipping the freak of the week. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, it's that hooch, <laughs> you know? What do you find out? What you want to do? I need it in their bathtub. Okay. You know, it's, it's, it's a family okay. recipe. I like that color. color. It's good. Okay. It's good. She's on the good times, not the fine wine. Yeah, it's just the good times. What you got in your glass? It looks I delicious. I got uh, barefoot fruscato apple. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, How you liking that? that? Um, let me show you. <laughs> oh. oh, you enjoyed it. Oh, you enjoyed it. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. No one, no one okay. Nah. That bottle is also a weapon. Yeah. Right. I'm having a little Arabella Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, you know, I like to say that. that. It's from South Africa, and it is delicious. Yes, yes, yes. yes. so make sure you check that what out. What is that called? I'm sorry. It's Arabella. Oh, Sauvignon yeah, Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, yes, yes. Pinkies up. Yes. yes. All, All right, so up. while we have your attention, be sure to reach down there, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you're tuned in. Just so you know, now we're on Apple Music, we're Ooh, on yes. iTunes, we're on, yes. we on Spotify, Ooh, Pandora, Sirius XM yes. Radio, Ooh. Pandora. So Ooh. you can listen to us while you're on the road. You can watch us if you're watching YouTube. Wherever you got to check us out, check us out. Right. Please do. All right. All right. What was the best thing you had to eat this week? Oh, my goodness. If I can say. Say. I went back. <laughs> I went back to my place. Cut Where'd slices. you go? Cuts and slices. You was on that long line? You I was that on line? the long line. Oh. Uh. Okay, but it was worth it. It was worth it because, okay, so okay. We, went, we got on the line. We got there. Right. It was a long, long, I'm going I'm to make the long story short. Okay. We got there. We get on the line. We check the Instagram. They had an oxtail slicer. Uh, you know that's they best. But they announced that's that every seller. day. I feel like they might have an oxtail best. slicer. But it was daily. like four thirty. First to go. It right. was like four thirty. By the time we got there, we waited on the line. Wasn't no oxtail. That's fine. So we get in there. What I had? I had a um, jerk shrimp bussin. Uh, I had a uh, 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 chopped cheese. The chopped cheese. I would rate that an eight out of ten. An okay. Eight out of ten. It need a little bit more seasoning. Cuts and slices. Sprinkle some. You know, sesame. 
something like that. <laughs> you know, I could, we could do a test kitchen. She actually. got a suggestion box. Oh, but yeah, that. actually, cuts and slices. The jerk shrimp was really good. I went back for the uh, 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 truffle, black truffle Alfredo. How was it? That was your first time That's trying disgusting. it? Oh. You don't like nothing y'all biggest, truffle. Y'all like that truffle butter Yes, we stuff. do. Cheyenne. Uh, no, nobody said nothing about truffle but her. You always well, go there. fucked it up for me. Go ahead. No, you <laughs> always go there. I said truffle, black truffle Alfredo. Go ahead. You got to get um, truffle butter yeah. out of your mind. Please. Just I'm, mad I I I'm mad I introduced her to that song. I'm so mad you did too, because now she won't eat truffle fries. I don't and like it. No. It tainted it. Like, that's... It I did. It tainted it for her. Yeah. yeah. Maya, do you be eating? <laughs> Food, girl. You had the best thing you had to eat. Okay, so listen. I don't want to brag. Okay. But the best thing I ate this week was a meal I actually prepared. No, nice. right, period. I made some stuffed shells. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, you I'll be, be whipping it. You feel me? I'll be, you know, Emerald Lagasse. Okay, Emerald Lagasse. Bam! You know what you feel me? Mm-hmm. You feel me? I, I live alone, so, you know, you got to do things to keep yourself occupied. Wonderful. So, a glass of wine. Yes. Some music playing. Yes. You know, you got to cook for yourself. Oh, that's my vibe. We be on the stage. Yes. 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 We, 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 we got to get yes. out of here. Yes. Yes. women that live alone. Yes, yes. yes. it's bad. Yes. When, yes. I'm cook, when I'm cooking, yes. I'm listening to Coco Melon. <laughs> So the stuffed shells, I like that. I like yeah. a good Italian. I made some stuffed shells. Mm-hmm. I stuffed it with some ricotta cheese, okay. some mozzarella cheese, and then I did a um a turkey meat sauce on top. Oh, okay. okay. shred a little mozzarella on Fancy. top, baked it. You was Emerald listen, for real, for real. I, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. It's it's inflation. I, I'm not buying outside food. Okay, okay. that's I'm right. Not buying outside it's food. It gets expensive. expensive. Yes. It adds up. It I, bring adds my, up. I bring my breakfast and my lunch to work. Yeah. You know, we got to talk because I got to do come that. On, and you got to tell me I, how to do that. That's financial plan that you want. Okay. I'm trying to be Susie Orman. Tamika, what's the best thing you had to eat this week? I have to say, the best thing I had to eat was just a couple of hours ago. Uh, oh, tell us about it. Because you went to a very special event tonight. Yes. A food tasting. A tasting for my son's wedding. My Ooh, son's wedding. Ooh, we getting closer. Yes. yes. And let me tell you, oh, my belly is full. Did you and... choose the right selections for the guests like myself? They, uh, me too. Because I'm worried. You want to make sure we go. Yes. Yes. Oh my I want to come. <laughs> <laughs> I had a seven, seven course meal. Like, Ooh. Like, I didn't even know How there was such thing as like five wine. different salads. Oh. oh. Yeah. Uh, bread and all kind of oh. Is there a difference butter. between the salads yes. taste wise? Because I know it looks wise. Absolutely. I. Yes, tonight. Yeah. All right. So they had the Caesar salad. My right. favorite. And then they had some salad with that had, it, it reminded me of like uh, uh, antipasta. Okay. Uh-huh. I had the olives and the vinaigrette. Mm. And then they had the shit, o- the, the thing over here with uh, the feta cheese. Okay. And the, and the, and the like the raisins Greek. and the stuff like yeah. that. Okay. Right? And then you raisins. circle back around. I don't know, dates? Oh, all right. That, Cherries? I don't want really fruit in and my you, salad. Then you came back over here and then you had like the arugula. Ooh, okay. And, uh, I don't really like the arugula. I like I'm not the big spicy. On it, but it, it sounds like fancy. black peppery. And then it was all kind of fancy, smancy stuff, but it was the salmon, it was the veal, it was the, the lamb. I had the Ooh. filet mignon. Oh, uh, you uh, ate. Hey, and then it was dessert, and then, you know, they want coffee, and then they want bread, and then they want... I had, like, seven margaritas. <laughs> but the best thing I had... Did you really need to test that many margaritas? No. <laughs> no, she didn't. She was like, let me get another one. I made sure they was on Just point. Just to make sure. Right. 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 one more. I had to make sure. Make sure they're not fumbling. Every single time right. it was good. Every single time. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, the salmon banging. Love it. Mm, banging. Okay. I love it. Right. The Sam. Good. And wait, I'm sorry. I try. I had some white mashed sweet potato puree. Ooh. That was under white. A, yes. Never knew it, girl. Yeah. <laughs> How was it? I never. This was the first time I tasted this puree. In my whole life. Yes. I mm. had to ask the chef, "What's up?" You know. Oh, it was good. It's was on it the good? menu. Delicious. You said it was under something. Under what? It was so Potato. good that they changed the filet mignon to this, which was prime. I think it was prime rib, rib. Huh. with the with the, 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 the yeah, 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 and, and the carrot and right, the right, right. Y'all gonna love it. Mm. Oh, can't I wait. can't I'm wait. Full. I'm here. And I'm. Let's yes, stop. you fall. Yeah. She's about to fall asleep. 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 She's
pitch is kept, so we're going to keep the energy high. Her pitch is next to Itis in the yes. dictionary. I, I went know. to Fire and Oak this week in Bayonne, oh, oh, New Jersey. I to, oh, I went Isn't to the one on Staten Island. Yeah. This is responding to Fire and Oak. Yes, it's a sexy spot. There's a hotel upstairs if you want to get your little sneaky link yeah, on. Or your nap on. That's yes. not perfect for me because I, I can eat it and, 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 and go and to sleep. Right. Right. There's a fireplace. It's very no beautiful, comment. nice date spot. So Fire and Oak and Bayonne, again, let them know fine wine and good Wait time. Wait a minute. I know because she be out a lot. <laughs> Every time I talk to you, at a new spot. Yes. That's the one that knew this. I'm trying to keep that. up with Shy. Listen, she's she's like, that girl. Her, you know? So I know every week she's going to come in here with some greatness. You're the food connoisseur, too. I'm more of the beverage connoisseur. Beverage. Like, I go to okay. the food. I'm not really a big eater. I pick at things, but I'll tell you who got the best beverages. So if you're in the area of Brooklyn Chop House, either the Times Square location yes. or the downtown, yes. Yes. trust and believe they make a great cocktail. Uh, if you're like me and yes. sometimes you just want to get a little nibble, like, let me just get something, a dumpling and a drink. That's your spot. We you went go there. To Brooklyn Chop House. I don't even know what I was drinking. Okay, you don't felt right it. though, I, didn't you? But Uber on the way, I forgot to use the bathroom before we left. Don't say on the way home, I had to make myself fall asleep so I would not yes, use the bathroom. Yes, yes. Here she go. <laughs> on the window. I love it. We Brooklyn Chop House. Why it's are you bomb. telling all my business? Because oh. you were telling mine. <laughs> shout out to Don Poo, the owner of Brooklyn Chop House. Oh, shout Such out, a great Don. establishment. Yes. Okay. All right. So this week. The host of Fine Wine and Good Times did our first interview as a group together. Yeah. Yes. With uh, Code 31. Media. Media. Yes. Media. Shout out to Coach Code 31. D. Coach D. And so while we were, after we wrapped our interview, which went really well. Yes. You'll find it in our links and bios and all that yeah. stuff. We were taking some photos. And I stood with my, you know, I don't know what iPhone this is, but it's an iPhone. It's got a good camera. And I, I was taking a picture. And I thought I did all right. And then Shy came and stood in the same spot she I was like, standing no, in. No, no. Same phone. Mm -hmm. But the picture she took knocked my shit out the <laughs> park. And my picture looked professional. Uh -oh. It's like y'all come out the womb knowing angles. angles and lighting. And it just got us to thinking about the difference be between the generations. Mm. It starts, well, it goes from everything from technology to relationships to you know, you, you describing your bacheloretteness and, you know, all of that. So we want to talk tonight about the difference in generation. I guess we're Generation X. I don't like Generation And then they're millennials. I'm a millennial. Yeah. yeah. She's a millennial. I'm, 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 I'm a part of Gen Z. Speaking to the mic. <laughs> Speaking I'm, to the mic. I'm a part of Gen Z. Gen Z. Okay. <laughs> so there's a huge difference there. So my daughter is, I guess, Gen Z as well. No. She just got very she upset said, when I said that. No. She got so mad that her headphone <laughs> popped off her head. <laughs> Ashley, what generation are you? I am also a millennial. She's probably. a millennial. Millennial. Oh. Okay. All right. She's a millennial. Excuse me. Y'all all the same to me. I don't know. Right? I don't know. Right. Me either, Tamika. But we get into debates often because okay. I'm more of the old school, traditional values. Okay. And the, the, young, right the younger girls are... <laughs> the twerkers. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all was at Freaks. That's what I'm saying. Don't do it. Y'all was at Freaks. Y'all was at Freaks. Y'all was at Freaks. Y'all was at Freaks. No, we were more refined in our generation. Oh, in fact, I, I just seen a picture of Freaknik today. Yeah, I don't I know. I wasn't in it. Exactly, me either. Not in that picture. Right. Me either. We left no photographic evidence. Right, right. Tamika, a couple of episodes we were talking about, you had gotten a um, talk to Tamika segment. Mm -hmm. And in your advice, you said, these young chicks don't know how to fry chicken. They don't, they don't know, know how to cook. How to cook. Right. Where did that happen? Do you cook, Shy? No. Um, Ma! <laughs> Shy, do you cook? Shy, Answer don't the question. Make me get on this Ma, I didn't live by myself room. for a whole year. That's not what we asked stars. you. I didn't ask you, did you survive on oodles and noodles? No. Why? No. What I asked you, Maya, they trying to do me? Shy, don't do me. What I asked you is, can you cook? Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. No. Ma, ma, ma. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, when I, Let me tell you why Shy ain't cook. My mac and cheese. My mac and cheese that I had made that How many cheeses is in the mac and cheese? <laughs> it was only uh, uh, the, the shredded cheese okay. and then the, the, the cheese that come in the uh, mac and cheese box. Uh, no, yes. 
No, not no crab. We all crab. It's my grandmother. It's my grandmother recipe. It's my the grandmother Velveeta. recipe. I'm scared, y'all. It's no, it's busting. I'm scared, y'all. The down ten points. <laughs> Let me tell you. Can Mom. I tell you? I'm gonna tell you why. Down. I'm gonna tell you why Cheyenne can't okay. cook. And it ain't your fault. You know what's crazy? She told me what mac and was good. Let's Let's you, listen, let me tell you why. It's my fault that my baby can't cook. That's true. You you ain't no, my entitlement because I wasn't the type of mother that my grandmother was. Okay. Okay. I was the kind of mother that, you know, we doing ballet, we doing tap, we doing all of this extracurricular activities. It wasn't like Cheyenne come in and watch me make this soup from scratch because I exactly. wasn't doing that shit. I was busy. I had three kids. So it's not like, you know, my grandmother would sit in the kitchen and bake bread all day and then she could come in and watch me and shit. So it is my fault. The same, it's my fault that she can't jump double dutch. She can't play spades. She can't fucking. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. I regress. This Cheyenne, is a, this is Cheyenne is still can't strong. play spades. She can't jump double dutch. And I, I, and I know it's a bunch of little girls. It's a bunch of girls out there your age that can't play spades, can't jump double dutch. Hot trick. None of that shit because it's my fault. I'm sorry. So we're turning we're we're turning it to the generation, <laughs> y'all generation, because y'all didn't teach us. Well, I'm that's just true. saying we why. Didn't, I didn't yes. grow up doing the double cooking. Touch. We're cooking, right? So that's why they Uber ease. They the generation they Uber everything. Uber yeah. Yes. Okay, but in my defense, can I just say before yes, we move please on, please defend yourself. I can make a rice. Okay, it's hard to make rice for some people. I it's make hard to make good. You're not rice. talking about the rice. You're talking about rice in the bag, not the rice in the box. Oh my god, that's kind rice of in the box is, is rice right. in the box. They come with the. All right, direction. as long as you can do the rice make, in the bag. Make, make, call Jordan. Call Jordan right now. <laughs> Cheyenne, relax. Make some jollof rice. Well make jollof rice, and then you can that's tell me man? you make rice. Yes. yes. Not no white. Uh, Uncle Ben's rice. So, can, is it, fair, is, is it fair to say you can cook for survival? Absolutely. All right. Maya, and it'd be good, too. What are your cooking skills looking like? No, I get down. Yes. I, I get heard down you talk about your shelves. I get shells. down in the kitchen. Um, My mother, my grandmother, my aunt, yes. and everything like that, I would be, they gave us jobs. Like, kitchen. all right, peel peel okay. the potatoes for okay. the sweet potatoes. Yeah, yeah, right, right. All, that, right. all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't do um, that. When me and my sister, when we lived together, we will be taking turns cooking. Oh. So, yeah, I, I can cook. Okay. I know, like like I said, I made um, the stuffed shells this week. I do a good chicken cutlet. Yes. I know how to um, do a whole, like, chicken. Oh. Um, yeah, okay. yeah. Cook, cook. No, I can cook. No, All right, I so I got something else for chicken. you. I All right, so you passed that. that test. You passed that test. Bring it on. Let's talk about relationships. Diane, you failed that test. Go ahead. <laughs> she didn't fail. She didn't fail. She I still thinks she's She failed it, but she got, like, a, a D. Plus, because it falls on her mama. Go ahead. Right. I'll, I'll take half of that. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the difference in the grandmothers, right? So okay. you, you spoke about your grandmother mm -hmm. baking bread all day, mm -hmm. you know, seasoning the chicken, putting it in the crock mm -hmm. pot, mm -hmm. training the young daughters. This is how you do it. These are the seasonings you use. Just a pinch of this, a pinch of that. The Gen X grandmas is outside. We ain't got time for none of that shit. They like, I ain't babysitting shit. I got things to do. Right. My man waiting for me outside. <laughs> Bebe. <Beep, beep. laughs> so do you think that's the better way to be? Because, all right, I don't have an interest in being the traditional grandmother in the sense of knitting and, and crocheting a hat. You know, I made this for you and, you know, always oh. sitting home on a Saturday night. That's not what grandmothers nowadays are about. In fact, I don't know too many grandmothers who allow themselves to be called grandma, nana, right. none of that. Nowadays, I'm a different. gaga, you're a glamma. No, 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 I'm not She's a, a grandma. She's so grandma. corny. I'm a gammy. 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 Okay. That's not even older. Okay. Come on, gammy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Be a grandma. Put some sister no. on the floor. I'm a grandma. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just call it Gammy because he can't pronounce Gammy. All right. 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 Your name is yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to the drum boys. Horrible voices. It was horrible voices. His game game died. Oh, no, his game game was not 
97. I'm Gam Gam. <laughs> you don't like Gam Gam? You, you're too fly and fine. Okay. To be Gam Gam. Well, I, that's why I'm not a grandma, Gam Gam. Yeah, we can't grandma. be I'm not nobody's nana. And first off, all my bitches, all my girls, they got everything. <laughs> They got everything. She's a guy guy. Yes. You got the Mimi. You got the... Everything is taken. Everything is taken. That's so true. I'm like, what the fuck now? is left for me? Like, <laughs> gam, gam. There you go. Gam, gam. Sugar do, you, mama. do you have a Gigi Ooh. in your circle? See, all right. Since my mother passed, she would have been my my grandson's great-grandmother. She right. would have been the Gigi. Okay. Right. So now I'm I'm going to be the Gigi. You might be right. want, want to be Gigi. But right now, it's just gam, gam. All right. G-G. Switch that up. We, we, we going to work Maya, on that. Maya has changed my views on... It was cute until I spoke to Maya. Nah, I'm not, <laughs> Don't listen, Maya. Don't listen, Maya. I I, I know what the streets want. The streets don't want that. The streets need a gammy. Huh. They 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 need a gammy to suck them in at night. Gammy got (laughs) them. I'm seeing all of your teeth right now. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Okay. All right, Gam. All right. All right, so we'll relationships. See. In our day, Ooh. so for instance, we're talking about your son's upcoming wedding, and he's in his 30s, am I right? Yeah. Okay. No. He's not? Late 26. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's God. getting married, <laughs> right? Go ahead. And that's not something you see happening every day. Like, most of these, the new generation is, like, living together. Yes, shacking. You know, shacking. And so what do you think? gave him the incentive to do the full what he proposed and Ooh, do the marriage Can I interject thing? real quick? Yeah. My brother is a lover. Is he? Yes. And me and him growing up so close together, I've seen, like, a lot of the people he's dated, and he loves super hard. Uh, That's why I'm just grateful. Yeah, you know, that I always found, say the same thing. Yeah. You get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. Because he's a cancer. He's okay. a like Oh, cancer! Yeah. 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 Oh, this Mama, hey. Hey. Baby, summer baby. <laughs> you know, cancers love hard. Yes, we do. And um, I know, and you, you're either a lover or a fighter. Okay. And Shaquan's the lover and raised the fighter. Oh, so, true. You know, he he wants to do things right. He he's seen me and my husband. We married. Yes. Um, we've been together almost thirty years. Mm-hmm. So he, you Pop know, it he, up. he wants to do that too. And him and his girlfriend. They've been together over eight years, so I mean, and I want grandbabies, so yeah. he gotta put a ring on it. And then so Gammy want grandbaby. That's right. <laughs> That's when you could be Gammy. When you grandbaby, <laughs> multiple, <laughs> multiple, right? When there's a, when there's a tribe of them. Do you think that seeing a positive example of marriage is what gave him that example? Because I don't know a lot I of do. young men that are in his age group that are even thinking be- about. Long term commitment. Uh, of that well, sort. keeping it funky mm-hmm. in a hundred. Um, her family, you know, was like, you know, what's up? You done been with our daughter this amount of years, right. you know, are you gonna propose to her? You know, because they're very traditional, right? They are from um, Egypt, okay, and you know, so they they want to do things the traditional way, okay, and I think. You know, after five years, and ladies, come on, after five years, five. if your man ain't trying to put a speak on it, of, you know, marry you, especially uh-huh. if you don't had a kid or two, right? You know, you, something got to give. Mm-hmm. I agree. You know, you got to either move on, right, or right, put a ring on it. So he knew that he wanted to be with her. Mm-hmm. The pressure so helped. Between, between the pressure yeah. and her, you know, when are we going to get married? Mm-hmm. Like, you know. Yeah. And then, you know, seeing, and then the, good seeing the good example. Yeah. yeah. He just knew it was time. Mm-hmm. And it's the right thing to do. Mm-hmm. You can't be That's shacking. wonderful. And they're sharing everything else. Why not share? Why not do the yeah. extra step? Like, yeah. Make the yeah. honest woman. Let me ask the that. two of you. Um, on the way here, my daughter and I were talking about this thing on Twitter that they were saying... This generation doesn't want to do wife things without the ring, right? Mm-hmm. So you don't want to cook for him if you're not the wife. Why should I, you know, care for you in the way that a wife does if I'm not the wife? Which I think is a valid point. But if you're having sex with them, who thinks that? This was a conversation think, on I, Twitter. I think, okay, I think we we think that. Like, you know, we grew up. I know I grew up like that. You know, that whole don't give the milk away, whatever. Right. But y'all young girls, y'all doing 
everything. Yeah. You know why? Because it's, glo- it's gl- what is the word? It's Glamorized. glorified yeah. now. No, I don't give a shit. Well, yeah, that's, so. the, that's the reason. Because the they're reason. making it okay. We got the city girl. City girls is yes. a million. But are they winning? Because here's the thing about the city girl mentality. I'm mm-hmm. seeing, all right, and I don't want to use any names, but you'll see some city girl type say, I'm living my best life. Don't knock it. This I'm happy. Then the next week, then I want a man that's all mine. I don't want to have to share my mm-hmm. man. So are you really happy or are you just perpetuating right. a right. narrative inside? Are you really feeling fulfilled? You know what I think it is with this generation? I just think it's um, a money thing. Mm. Like, so you for him, you meet him. He drive a, he drive a Benz. He got on Gucci Prada Louis, pop them tags. He got on... You know, whatever. He's taking you out. Y'all go to this and this. When that stops or when that starts to change and you see the, the real person for this person is and this is the person before the money, yeah. some females is like, uh-uh. well, now, I'm not going to say something. I'm going to say this generation, city okay. girls. Yeah. They're like, oh, you not, we not tricking today? Oh, okay. So I'm going to go find somebody who's really wow. tricking. And so it's, it's like, shallow. Yeah, we're in, the, we're in the era of sugar daddies. Mm-hmm. And- but Cheyenne get them all the time. This guy asked me no funny shit. But I'm like, he asked me for I got one. Do I have any yes, fart videos? Yes, I got videos. one. Ooh. Fart vi- anybody got First any fart all, videos? Who makes a fart video? I got video. somebody who want them. Who makes a fart video? It's people who have, you know, <laughs> well, you could anything. The dark web is it. Yeah. Okay. So you find people no. like that. You <laughs> take pictures. No, no we not. Your toes, no, 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 we, we not. You take pictures no. of your throat. You know. Oh my goodness. Yeah, stuff like that. So it's easy accessible. Okay. It's accessible. All right. Mama is ashamed. Okay, well, <laughs> Mama is ashamed. <laughs> my qu- all right, so then Mama, my question ahead. really specifically was, do you think that the way you guys view relationships is a better way mm-hmm. than the way that Tamika and I's no. generation viewed relationships? Because- I, I, no. I think that as a millennial, yeah. we are kind of in the middle of it. Okay. Because we see what our mothers did. And, and the quality mean. there, the right? value there. Right, the value okay. there. Okay. The more traditional way. Yeah. And then we see what the generation behind us is doing. Exactly. Which is completely different. Right. Me personally, I think that two things can be true at the same at time. At the same time. You Maya. Can, come on now. Yeah. That's why you need to have me here. I know. Come on okay. now. I'm the voice of reason. Yes. Okay, the voice for real. Yes. Me personally, I do have a man. We are not married. Okay. But when he comes over. Right. He gonna eat what I cook because nice. I'm, I'm cooking for myself. So why wouldn't you not I? Uber eating that man? I'm trying to save money. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> yes, ain't gonna be eating my are paycheck. You, are I you washing right. his clothes? Washing his clothes. Yes. If it I just so happens to be with my clothes, but yeah. no, am I washing his clothes? No. Are I you don't running do that his errands? He don't live no, with her. No, they live I, separate. I, I, I right? But I'm saying, because you can live separate, but you can still do these th- wifely things for your boyfriend who okay. no, they are putting they're... him in a husband lane no, I get where that. he should stay in a boyfriend's no. lane. And these girls be going all out for these little boys and giving them everything. But you know what? And then there's nothing left for them to give when he gets bored. That's true. And you're crying like, oh, my God, what did I do? Mommy, you loved him too hard. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. That's true, but that's when the spirit of a discernment. Word, Tamika, that was a word. Yeah, I get I like that. Okay, but that's, yeah. that's when the spirit of discernment comes into play. Because there okay, are some right. people who get that access to you, true. get that part of you, and who know how to cherish that, nurture that, and, exactly. and be reciprocal with it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, if I'm, do, if I'm cooking for you, then, all right, when we go out, this is on you. Exactly. You know what I mean? You want to have some a reciprocity in the right. words of Miss yeah. Lauren Hill. Okay, but, yeah. so, okay. but you have to know who you're dealing with. You got to know right. the and personnel. What you described is a, a mature man, probably in his 40s. Mm-hmm. No. I want to know, so y'all, these young little knuckleheads that's out here scamming and shamming and all I, of this I stuff. Don't know, I don't know about the young knuckleheads. Okay, so <laughs> they, they reciprocating what you got to go... You know, the you guys got, they understand, like, you know, my girl's this way. Let me go out. Or they just use it and abuse it, y'all. Like, I, what's going on? At this on? point, I feel like where we are now, <laughs> excuse me, today, mm-hmm. it's about using and abusing. Don't get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> it's about using it and abusing, for real. That. Like, we were just talking about my brother's getting married. Mm-hmm. He's the youngest person I know right now that's getting married. I haven't been to a young Which wedding. Me, all right, this brings me to my next thing, you specifically know? for the two of you. You have children? No, I do you? not. Oh, no. And how old are you? 
I'm 27. Okay, you? 25. By their age, did you have children? I was married okay. with three kids and had a house and a business that at 25. Part. Same. Okay. I can't I even imagine that. I was married right with children by that age as well. So nowadays we're seeing a trend where your generation is waiting longer to have right. children. Yes. I personally think that's wonderful. Because mm -hmm. once you become a parent, there's no going back. It's like losing your virginity. Once Ooh. it's gone, it's gone. You ain't getting that back. But no, 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 no. You can because um, Dr. Miami can help. <laughs> There's no going back. Right. When even if they're in their 30s or 40s, they're still right. your child. You're yes. still concerned about yes, them. Girl. So I think, I know for me, it was when my youngest son went away to college and my oldest son moved out. My daughter got married. I realized this was my first time ever in my life living alone. Mm. And now I get to order pizza and get the toppings I like. You know, so when I see young ladies like you and men taking their time to have children, I think that's really wise. But genetically, they, I'm seeing a lot more infertility issues in your generation because mm. people are waiting longer scare to tactic. have children. Mm -hmm. You think scare that's a tactic. scare tactic. Listen, listen, infertility is a multi-million dollar, probably a billion dollar mm. issue. After 35, they say that it is a geriatric pregnancy. That's what they but say. But you also see women in their 30s, 40s, even 50s having babies. You do. Right. Now, I'm not saying that that is not medically assisted. Right. But when you look at my generation, millennials, everything that we are facing in terms of um, financial uncertainty, mm. no job, no real job security, mm -hmm. the, the, the idea of owning a home for a lot of people in my generation it's is gone. <sighs> Student loans. Yeah. How can I think about having a child when I can't even take care of myself? Not talking about me, because you know I'm paying my bills. <laughs> right. But people from my generation, yeah. we are facing real struggles. You are, mm -hmm. and struggles that generations previous us did not have to worry about. Mm -mm. So it, it's it's definitely multifaceted. But we do need to take our time because we see some of the pitfalls that our parents fell into. Mm -hmm. You get married young, you have kids young, you lose your identity. And then when your children leave, you're like, who am I outside of a mother? Who mm. am I outside of exactly. a wife? Exactly. So That's my parents, the struggle I went from through. young, told me, get an education. Wonderful. You know, they, they, they um, encouraged me to write my poetry. They encouraged me to go to school in the city. They encouraged me to travel and see the world. And you want to be a whole person when you meet your person. Exactly. So that y'all can be a unit. Yes. Mm. Oh, oh word. Word. Okay, poet. Okay. If y'all didn't learn nothing from that, there's no, no, there's just no hope for you. <laughs> Mind that Sorry. listen to it again. Some jewels just got it's, dropped it's on you. All right, marinate right. on that and slow sip the wine down. of the week and drop down in the comments right. and let us know what you think. All right. On that note, it's time for our talk to Tamika segment. Yeah. I know y'all be waiting for this every week. It is. It is. Yes. It is. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. All right. I'm very excited about this because. Ever since we sent the uh -oh. call out, the DMs have been flooded. She's getting in her mode. She, uh -oh. she got to put her glasses yeah, on to hear. Yeah, she in her Yeah, she can't hear without her glasses. Can't hear without my glasses. Right. right. It's very important that she have the glasses. <laughs> yes, on the tip glasses. of the nose. All right. All right, you ready? I don't have my pen and pad. You need a pen. Can, can we get can her we get pen, pen and a pen? Yeah, no, pad. Yeah, these people's crazy. Yes. They Write down some advice. notes, mama. My notes. Okay. My poor people. This is a good one. This came to us. Straight to our DMs on Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, you ought to be. And you can drop your questions for Tamika right down in there. Yeah. Okay. Send a DM. All right. You ready? Yes. Just remember, this is talk to Tamika, not talk to Maya, Shy, and Trace. Yes. So we're going to let Tamika. Until uh, in. so she bring us in, we're going to let Tamika do her thing. Go ahead, right. okay. T. You ready? All right. Hi, Tamika. Uh, this for you. It's for me. I heard you mention this problem on a prior podcast. My issue is people not cleaning after their dog. Mm. I have tried many things to deter it. I put down cayenne pepper. Did, does that work? I never knew that was a thing. Okay. I put down cayenne pepper, dog mace, but they don't work. What advice do you have for this dog problem? However, it's not really the dog that's the problem. It's the people walking the dog. Mm. My councilman in my area said, to take a picture with my ring camera and the address if I know it. And that will send, that, then they will send someone to the person's house. That's good, but I don't know where most of them live. 
So that's the problem. I'm tired of cleaning dog poop. It's in front of my house. So any suggestions are helpful. I'm too old to be picking up behind selfish people. Help me. I'm going crazy. Sign O-G-E. Hey, E. All right, E. We about to get you some answers. Yeah. I think I'm going to give him some answers. Okay. I'm not sure. Because I don't want the dog lovers to come after me. Because <laughs> I'm a do- you know, I'm a dog. Yes, you are. I have a Shout out to puppies. Nugget and Bosco. And yes. my puppies have an issue with the dog next door. Benji. They got beef? Yes. Big beef. They actually jumped Benji. And yep. then Benji jumped up. So we were going <laughs> back and forth. But um, I've been having some personal issues, too. I remember one day I came out and oh, took my garbage out, and I slipped on a bag. And when I looked down, it was a little shit bag. I think one of my neighbors done tossed it over. Mm. So what I did, I pointed my surveillance camera toward, you know, the, the where it needed to be. Okay. And I staked it out for a, a few days, but I didn't find anything. So what I'm going to tell him is you need to put some cameras or anything that look like cameras and say, hey, you dog shitter, <laughs> not pick a rubber. Right. You're being filmed. Mm. Right. And, you know, have, like, the fake camera right there. And then you got to put some, you know, some signs okay. on it that says curb your effing dog. Okay. You know, get aggressive. Really get them, you know. <laughs> nasty people don't pick up shit. You know, you know, you got to, you know, get down to it. Nasty people don't. Why? Why? Where you find that sign? Right. <laughs> if you Amazon. know where to buy the nasty yes. people don't pick up shit sign, please yes. jump down Amazon. in the comment section. All right. And Amazon. you know, create your own. Oh, all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> And then when you find out, or if you're lucky to find out, you go and you confront them and knock How on the door. How would you confront a neighbor? Girl, n- ring the bell okay. and knock on the door. Let's say what? I, I, one time I had to go over there to a neighbor and set them straight. And I made sure that it was bright and early in the morning because okay. I'm not an early person. So you I was not, extra you mean. You were mad. When, if you got yes. up early and walked over there, Ooh, you were not the best of no. okay. was flaming. I had the bonnet on. I was ringing the bell all aggressive and everything, and I just read them they rights. I was like, listen, your dog is barking or your dog is shitting or whatever it is. You know, if you're going to be, a, a, you know, a, we're going to have this neighbor camaraderie. You know, you have to be considerate. Okay. But um, as far as, like, the shit, uh, just, you know. E has really tried dog do. mix and cayenne pepper. You say go put put just cameras, cameras. in. You have right. to let them know, like, I'm watching they're being you. watched. Right. And that's probably the only way. Or else you just leave, like, leave little special treats for the dogs that come. Okay. Hi, I don't think you mean special in a good way, but we got no, <laughs> like little chocolate chips and everything. Uh-huh. You know, I'm okay. kind of poison the dog. No, <laughs> don't poison. No, I mean, no, we don't want the dog lovers poison, coming after no. us. We don't want to we do don't that. Poison no, we don't poison dogs. We don't want you right. to curb Peter, the dog. She wants right. them to shit in their own house. Maybe, right. maybe a little. Uh, uh, what is it? X lax. Ah, oh, yes. A little so when they, they get home, they right. Right. Yes. Now you can't get the oh, dog out the house God. fast enough. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know right. what I mean? All right. Right. Yeah. Cool. Or okay. you could put, you know how they have the invisible gate that shocks the dogs? Oh, I didn't know about that. You those. know, put that around there when the dog and the owner walk up get to little, the grass. Yes. Yeah. All right. Shock the owner, too. Yeah. yeah, All right. I think that's solid advice. E, I hope this is helpful. Will you let us know that you tried these tactics and then come back to our DMs and let us know that Don't hurt nobody, though. Don't hurt nobody. Don't hurt nobody, but use some. Don't hurt the owner. Yes. Yes. Throw them off the trail. Make them think that they're being watched and surveilled and get that... If you don't pick up shit, you nasty sign from Amazon. Oh, oh, get it yes, together, E. Yes. If okay. you don't pick up shit, your house dirty. Nasty, How about nah, that? Shit that's that's you know, shame them. <laughs> yes, yes. Shame, shame them. Shame them. Yes. And then you tell all the neighbors. Right, yes. right. Then y'all Ladies, Shirley dirty. Y'all going to parade. Go y'all going going to parade. Blue says yes. Shirley dirty. All right. right. <laughs> that's, come on now. Sure. She'll get to act right. Okay. Does anybody have anything they want to plug this week? Anything coming up? What's your hat? Where can we find you? You have a new... You have a f- uh, open mic happening. Yes. Open mic. So yes, I host every first Thursday of the month. That's right. Open mic. Yes. At Hub I, I Seventeen. It. it is at seventy three. 
Way, Way Street. Street. Yes, Way it is Street. a great event the from way. 7 to 9. Our next event will be April 6th. Love it. Please come through. We in there. We Listen, in there. All acts welcomes comedians, singers, rappers, poets. If you want to read a monologue, if wow. you're an artist and you want to showcase I your work, it. this, is, this is a platform for Staten Island. Um, performers, but if you coming from the other all uh, over the city, yeah, come from Jersey, you are come on, right? Everybody, I'm hosting. Hello, I'm hosting. I'm it. performing. This is a free event, but it won't be free for long. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so, you so, get on we, so, so get on it. But yes. when we charge, just know you're getting quality. So Absolutely. it's going to be whatever we charge. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth but it. Yeah. That's right. Open mic. I love April six. I'll see you there. April yes. six. We'll be I'll there. Be and you I should be there too. I want to. I want to do a little plug. Okay. Plug. Glade, Glade, Glade plug. plug in. Um, I want to plug me. Ooh, yes. Yes. Always so. follow me on Instagram at I'm shy two underscores on Instagram on TikTok. C Smith at C E E. S-M-I-Z-Z. -Z. Yes. I want to give a shout out. We got a VIP in our audience. Ooh. I'm feeling like we are celebrities. Ooh. Shout out to Infinite. Yes, yes. Infinite Calls is in the building with us tonight. And we are feeling blessed. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love we you. love you, boo. Yes. All right, and on that note, we got to wrap this here episode of Fine Wine and Good Times. Be sure to yes. like, share, and subscribe. Drop down in the comments section with your talk to Tamika questions. Period. We will see you next time. Love yes. you. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Todd. And that is it.